Attachment is the root of all suffering. Anything you feel attached to will create some type of suffering in you. Whether that suffering is that someone's not acting the way that you want, someone's not showing you the validation that maybe you crave, some type of outcome isn't turning out the way that you had the blueprint in your mind. Whatever you are attached to will create suffering. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the number one key to finally letting go, releasing attachment, and how that will allow you to become free, more attractive, how that will allow you to really release resistance. And I think this video could completely change your life for that reason. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, this, I would say the theme for me and for many people in the year 2020, it has been a theme of releasing attachment. Attachment to old belief systems, attachment to people, attachment to outcome. And until we learn attachment, we're gonna create a lot of resistance in our life. And my year has been me uh, looking at my own relationship with myself. Um, a lot of it also, to be honest with you, has been me looking at the masculine and feminine energies and me doing, in a way, shadow work, where I look at, like, I've been looking at my own shadow, which is a shadow is like the unconscious part of ourselves. And what I've been doing is looking at that shadow and noticing different things about it. And a lot of it had to do with uh, the shadow buildup, had to do with a certain point in my past, me attaching to certain ideologies about myself, about the way reality works. And that's why now it's about me really letting go of those. And, and, and that's why I think as well, awareness is really the key to us transforming our life. And when we become aware of our shadow, that's when we start to become aware of these unconscious parts of ourselves that are just in a way acting out. So in uh, my life this year, it's been letting go of this past identity of like me making videos every single day, me letting go of making daily videos was actually a big deal for me. And I know I talk about it um, often and it, it seems like a ridiculous thing. Like it's just, you went from six videos a week to, to four videos a week. But I, I, in a way I felt like I was letting go of an attachment that I had to viewing myself in a certain way. There's like a work ethic. I was like, Aaron creates lots of videos. Aaron is this kind of person. And now that I'm letting go of that identity, exactly what, by the way, exactly what I thought would happen actually happened. I thought that if I let go of that belief system that I had to work hard, I was so attached to this identity, if I would let that go, then actually even greater results would come in with less effort. And what I did is after like a month or two of doing that, the, the channel is still growing just as fast, if not faster, and I'm making almost half the amount of videos, over, you know, three to four a week versus seven a week. It's pretty much half. Um, another thing that I'm learning to let go of is my attachment to how people are, attachment to how my, my relationships work in certain ways. And what I'm learning is that the more I let go is the more free I feel. But the number one way and the number one thing that I want to share with you of when it has to do with letting go and releasing attachment is releasing attachment is a release of meaning. It is a release of meaning. Think about anything you're attached to. If you're attached to a person, you think you're attached to the person, but you're attached to what that person means to you. The meaning you give to that person being with you. If you're letting go of a, an attachment to some job, that you used to have. A lot of people are transitioning their jobs right now because of the, the way the, the economy is going. If you find that difficult to release attachment, it's to the meaning you give to that job, to that sense of identity. If you find it hard to let go of the outcome, it's because of the certainty you crave. It's the meaning you give to the outcome. So really what a release and attachment is, is a release of meaning. And one of the most powerful ideas that I've come, ever come to understand out of everything I've created on my YouTube channel, is that we give things meaning in our life. So if you've given the thing some, of something meaning that says, oh, this is, who I, this is something I attach to, you can also give it a meaning and you can look at it from a perspective that this thing that was never me to begin with. But this is also a paradox because the, the more you look in reality, the more you realize that everything is a reflection of us. And in a way, the universe has a funny way of showing you when you think this is, this is me, this is something I identify with. The universe has a funny way of showing you that this, this thing really isn't you. You are an eternal spiritual being having a temporary human experience. You are already whole and complete. So when you think something else is you and needs to work out a certain way, what you do is you create resistance and then the universe reflects back that resistance to you. But what I've learned is the more I let go is the more free I feel 
and the more the universe can then bring me or the universe, I have a better relationship with the universe in a way. It's only in the attachment that we create resistance. And it's also the ego's attachment. The ego's attachment wants to control the way things happen, wants to try to, to, to crave that sense of certainty. I'm reading a book right now that's called Attached. And it's about three different attachment styles. Mainly, I think it has to do with attachment, maybe to outcome, but also attachment in relationships. And there's three main types. There's secure, which not a lot of people, I think there's least amount of secure out of these three types. Secure is somebody that's very comfortable, not attached really one way or the other, but also not afraid of being vulnerable and connected. There's anxious attachment and avoidant attachment. Anxious attachment is someone that leans in. Someone that leans in and is attached. These are people that normally will seek validation, that want a certain amount of communication, that, that lean in when they feel like they want, they, they want love. That's how they, they experience it. Avoidant is the other way around. They, they hold back. Avoidant people will find that they, um, they resist confrontation, that they are in a way afraid of maybe deeper relationships. So what they do is they kind of hold it at bay. A lot of times at one point in their life, they had, they had something that they trusted that they couldn't trust anymore. And then they associate their love with like an independence. So they avoid it. So they're secure, anxious, and avoid it. But the thing that I've, I've learned about studying these things is everyone will normally have one that they're predominantly. Avoidance will normally attract anxious attachment people. Secure though, and so you can also be anxious, secure, or avoidant secure, a little bit of both as you're working on yourself, you know what I mean? The goal is to become more secure, more confident. You fill up your own cup. Now the issues with these different attachment styles is that one, it's important to be aware of your attachment style, but also that you can also let go of the stories and the beliefs you have about who you are. And we in, in society believe that we're not whole and complete. We believe and we attach ourselves to someone else and how they act as that, if that's our source of validation. But one of the biggest things I've learned when it comes to letting go of attachment is to one, let go of the meaning because you can change the meaning too. When people have trouble letting go of a relationship, the meaning they're giving is they're giving all, this, all their power to this one person, this one idea, and then they're, they're sending that person energy uh, energetically, which repels that by the way. But then what they do is they have them on such a pedestal and, and what they do is they create this resistance by thinking about them and attaching to them and identifying with them. And if they were simply let it go and realize that there's billions of people out there in the world, they would then become more free. They would re realize more about themselves and re realize that um, there's so many people out there that if you had this, this meaning, this meaning with one person, you can create amazing meaning with someone else and maybe even better than you could imagine. Maybe all those qualities you loved plus like way more times 10 <laughs> or something like that. But the, that will literally, because we have the perspective, the meaning of this one person, we remain attached to that meaning and then we block out all these other experiences where someone could easily just come into our life because we get in life that which we are a vibrational match to. And if we're only a vibrational match to this attachment, then guess what? We're only gonna create more and more experiences of that resistance. The key is becoming free and letting go. And the way you let go is you let go of meaning. In case you haven't seen me before make this, or um, I have this uh, little chart right here of power versus force. You'll see, you'll see fear, anger, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reasoning, love. Now reasoning below, it's all of the mind. It is all of the mind, the meaning we give things. And Einstein himself resonated at 499. He would have had to completely let go of all of his intellectual ideas to move into the love. And he started to learn that before the end of his life. Now what happens is we are naturally unconditional love. This is who we are, free of attachments. But we gain these mental constructs in our mind that says when I'm with this person, then I can feel happy. We have these attachments to people, these attachments to outcome, the attachment to certainty. And those attachments create within us resistance. And the, the key to letting go of resistance is the key to letting go of, re, of attachment. Let go of meaning. Let go of the meaning and create your own. What if you gave it the meaning that you're already whole and complete? What if you gave it the meaning that, you know, there's a difference between avoidant and anxious attachment style. 
The, atta- the, the anxious attachment is given the meaning that when I'm with or getting the validation from someone else, then I'm happy. The avoidant has more of that connected to the freedom, the independence. So there's these, there's these two different perspectives and two different values and the meanings, this, the meanings have switched. So the one main thing that I can share with you that has changed my life more than anything else is becoming aware of the sense of meaning, realizing our beliefs create our reality. What are beliefs? Beliefs are meaning. They're the meaning we give things. At a certain point in your past, you may have had horrible things happen to you. And that was your interpretation of it. Or maybe you're like, oh, well, a lot of us, a lot of people would agree that it was a horrible thing, but that's meaning. And the key to releasing your past is releasing the meaning you give it or changing the meaning, reframing it. If you look at a relationship where it's hard to let go of, you could reframe that relationship. It's an easy way to to move through it is to, to look at the things you learned, to look at the things and the value you got out of it and how you've changed as a person. And then to also soothe and let that person go with love. To not have a negative charge against it. Because if you have a negative charge against that person, you're going to attract more of that in your life. You get what you're a vibrational match to. But the key is becoming free. And the way you become free is by releasing the meaning. Release the meaning. Let it go. How do you let go of meaning? You first off become aware of it. When you become aware of the meaning, then you can let it go. You can't let go of meaning if you think that it's built into reality. Your story about money, your story about love, your story about success, those things are reflect and getting you back in your life a direct reflection of whatever those stories are. You become aware of the stories, you begin to change your life. Now, what I also intend or I also encourage you to do is to look at your stories, not just about money, love or relationships or or health. Look at your meanings about who you are as a person, your identity. Are you already whole and complete? Or do you watch a a, a crap load of Disney movies growing up and think that you need that special happily ever after? Because if you believe that you need that, then guess what? You won't be happy until that need or that desire is met in the blueprint of your reality. But if you release that meaning, you then become free. But it's becoming aware of it. Yes, you may have watched a whole bunch of stupid Disney movies growing up. You may be waiting for your Prince Charming or your little princess, but guess what? If you're waiting, then you're not okay with this moment right now. Then you're attached to outcome. You're attached to certainty. And when you do meet this special princess or prince, and it doesn't start going the way that you want, then you start to feel resistance. That resistance comes from attachment. You become a free of attachment by becoming free of meaning. So look at the meaning you're given to someone in your life. Look at the meaning you're given to outcome in your life. Look at the meaning you're given to the story you tell yourself about who you are. And as you become aware of that meaning, you can then choose to let it go. And as you let it go, guess what? You become free. When you become free, you're already whole and complete. You're more integrated. You're more likely to attract a loving relationship that reflects that love that's already within you. You're more likely to have more attractive energy too because you're not so attached to outcome. You are in abundance. So the one thing that will change your life the most if you apply it, I promise you, is let go of attachment by letting go of the meaning you give to things. You let go of the meaning by becoming aware of the meaning and then knowing that you can change it. Everything is built, everything has no built-in meaning other than the meaning you give it. And this is why some people may go through similar things growing up. I have totally different results. I look at what I went through growing up. And my brother went through growing up. We went through very similar things, but we both gave it very different meanings. And now we both get a very different result in reality because of that. So if you change those things, you then change your life. So there's something I did recently. I did a 21 day raise your vibration challenge. Most of that challenge is about letting go. So if you want a 21 day detox, of letting go of things that no longer serve and you want to raise your vibration to a new level, 21 days to a new vibrational you, click the link in the description box below, join the 21 day raise your vibration challenge, read the testimonials, watch the testimonial videos on that page to see what is possible. It is an accountability way of transforming your life and letting go. I'll show you step by step how to do it and you're held accountable for it. If that's something you want to join, click the link below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a series on letting go right here. Watch those videos and uh, build up that energy and it'll really help you let go. Put on in the background while you're doing things, going out about your day and watch how it becomes easier and easier to let go. So with that being said, as always, I'll see you later. Peace, much love and namaste.